the next part of what I'd love for us to do. We're going to just like reconnect to the frequency of now. You might just notice, oh, okay, none of that's happening now. Or, uh, like this is, this is where my problem is. I always get stuck here and how I get there. What is it about your day-to-day -day that you can incorporate? That same sense of playfulness, adventure, spontaneity, fun, connection to mother nature, connection to not having to be anywhere at any time. That sense of, wow, like time expands for me when I do this. And just noticing what scenarios come up in your mind, whether you've got, you know, a yard or a balcony or something that you can create that scenario or whether every day you can make the time, not find the time, make the time to do a spontaneous little 10 minute drive somewhere and see where you end up. Or maybe it's just creating a sense of, wow, let's just do a little indoor picnic as though we were out there. And what would the indoor picnic look like? So you've literally set up a fun little adventure mat with toys. And this is like, this is what your living room is going to look like today. So there's just different things that you can do every day where you feel that sense of I'm dropping in. Let's go to wealth. So I want to buy anything I want. I walk past a, let's, let's talk about luxury goods. Like any of you gals here get turned on by that. Some of you, yes, maybe. Some of you like, nah, not really. But let's go to luxury goods. I love myself a beautiful luxury bag. I love myself luxury things. What I love about it, and this is what I wrote in my values, the reason why I love it is because to me, it represents the best of the best of the best of the best. If you YouTube how something is made at Louis Vuitton or YSL, you see these artisans. They are artisans of another time. Like I see them and I think of just like past lives, like they must have been amazing, like tailors in the 1800s, like the way they put something together, it's all hand stitched, the way they press the leather, the way that they draw on the, on the bags, like they are masters at their art. And that's what it represents to me. I choose to embody that energy. I'm a master of my art. I am an artisan. I'm someone who shows up and I love my work and I'm proud of it and I charge for it. And there's something about the smell of luxury stores which just turns on my soul. And so there was a time where I definitely could not afford to buy these things or correction, I could afford it. I worked for many years, but I didn't allow myself to afford it. There's a difference. I didn't give myself permission to receive it. I wasn't feeling worthy enough. In fact, I've told a story before where me and my girlfriends, we went out for a beautiful lunch at Crown Casino in Melbourne. And there's this beautiful like space upstairs called the conservatory. It's really open and it's just beautiful and luxurious. And then one of them said, let's go downstairs and have a look at some stores. So we walked into this one store. It was like Prada, I think. And I felt so unworthy of being there, so unworthy that I ran out. I, I made an excuse. It was so bizarre. I was like, I've got to go. Um, I think I've got to, I've got to go help my husband. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just made up something, some bullshit excuse. And I ran out the store and I just remember feeling so unworthy of being there, but it showed me a lot of things about how I was receiving in my life and where I was out of alignment. Anyway, so back to this idea, I would start beginning to just walk past the stores and take a minute and look at the things. And then eventually I would like walk into the store and pretend I could, you know, just buy all the things without looking at the price tags. There, there are no price tags in luxury stores. <laughs> you literally just pick the one and then they run up the bill. Like nobody asks how much something is. It's just like, let's just go with that one and hope for the best that it's not $10,000 or <laughs> it's like completely out of my budget. And I started like touching and feeling and feeling the essence of it and just all these things. And, you know, like one of my first ever luxury like thing that I bought was a $60 Chanel lipstick. And that was where I started. I was like, you know, this is beautiful. Like I love this. And I had it, it was almost like, it felt like an abundant scepter. I would have, I'd hold it. And sometimes I'd be on calls and I would hold it as opposed to a crystal or something. I would hold something luxurious because 
it would lit up my energy. It was part of my energetic values. That was a way in which I brought luxury into my life every day. So rather than being in a space of going, man, I wish I could like afford this thing and I'm so far away from being able to buy this, I could buy something smaller and I held it and it represented something to me. It represented something that I could take with me. I've also said this before to some of my clients. I've got this. I went to Istanbul one year and I bought a little Louis Vuitton belt, just like, you know, the black ones with the, with the logo. And there'll be some days where I'm just wearing it on a call. You won't be able to tell, but like, you know, I'll wear my Louis Vuitton belt and it feels like I am buckling in into like strapping into quantum abundance. Like I put the belt on and I'm like, today I'm strapped in, like I'm ready to go. Let's go universe. Like it represents something to me. So whatever it is, whatever your examples are, your values, they represent a certain scenario in your soul, in your mind, in your heart. How do you bring an essence of that scenario into your day? And when you have a representation of that in your day, you feel success now. You feel that version of you now. You create that reality for you now. This is how you play in the quantum field. It sounds like really out there, like, oh, quantum energetics. Quantum energetics is so logical. It's so simple. It's the everyday things that you do in your life and you're operating in the quantum right now. Even as we speak, we are literally in this beautiful vortex together, manifesting together, calling it in together, dropping in together, being in the essence of success now gets to be fast. It gets to be fast. It gets to be fast. And this is what has driven a lot of my success in like material success, success in my business, Everything I desire to have, I can have very fast because I know how to drop in and I know how to create the essence of that in my material world. And when I connect to the essence, guess what happens? I'm connecting to the essence of what represents so much more that I'm focusing more on that than more of what I don't want. And when you focus on more of what you want, what you desire, the magnet brings you more of what you want and what you desire. If you are focusing on the lack, the gap, the frustration, the anxiety, the worry, the I'm here, I want to get there, all you're focusing on is the chasm. All you're focusing on is that like, whoa, like I need, whoa, like that is just not happening for me. Is this hitting home? So anything I desire to have, like I desired to have the other day when I went to the hotel, I said to my mastermind, i I desire to get an insane amount of upgrades. I just want to, I actually deliberately didn't buy the suite. Like I thought, oh, you know, let's just see what happens. I was like, hello universe. I'm going to buy like a nice room and I'm going to upgrade myself to a suite. And I was saying that to the mastermind. And then I'm going to get like a whole bunch of other upgrades. So I went into my like cachet of energetic values. And I was like, this feels like, abundance and luxury and what are the scenarios oh the scenario is I walk into the hotel and I have that kind of energy that turns heads right it's like who is that girl who just walked into the room I make eye contact with the person at reception who's checking me in and it's this beautiful lady and she's just she's got this accent and she's just just you know like so welcoming and she checks me in and we start talking and she's like, do you know what? We actually have another room. Did you want to upgrade? Like I played the whole scenario in my mind. Guess what happened? I walked into that hotel and I don't know if I turned heads. I was so like focused on getting to the reception. And I was like, yes, I was wearing my wealthy woman pants. <laughs> I posted it on Instagram the other day. So many of you replied with your wealthy woman pants. It was just the best. But they're basically just these like silk they're these like white silk pants. They are so, they just remind me of Jane Fonda in Monster-in-Law. Like that's how I felt. Just like, she's so wealthy. I met my, my lady and she did have an accent. She had a Russian accent, which just freaked me out for a second. I was like, did I just like make this happen? And then she was so lovely. And she goes, oh, actually, Miss Lee, um, we're just going to get you a welcome drink. And I was like, oh, there's my first upgrade. So it was just like, well, you know how you check into hotels, they make these little fun mocktails. So it's like, I am receiving this in full. And they had this whole kind of like 
they poured it in and it changed color and oh, it was magnificent. I was like, took it was like a little shot. So I took that drink and then she's like, oh, okay, so you're checking in just for one night. Yeah, just for one night. And I just started talking. I'm like, it's just a staycation and a little time for myself. Before I knew it, she started like typing on her laptop and she's like, okay, so did you want to upgrade into the junior suite? And I was like, yes. And she goes, I will organize that for you. And here I was thinking she'll like, it'll just get charged to my bill. Didn't get charged to my bill. It was a straight up upgrade. Straight up. It was like a couple of hundred dollars more. I had the view of the ocean. I had the view of the pool. Like it was unbelievable but the story just keeps going the upgrades kept happening I was having dinner with my friend Claire and like I was like okay cool just put it on the bill like put it on my room it's fine went and checked out and they had taken like 50% off the dinner bill I'm like I've no idea why and they're like oh yeah it's fine like because I looked at the invoice I had like all the, I can't even remember oh free parking I drove there so parking was like 50 bucks a night and then when I checked out, the man who checked me out was like, oh, here's the, you can just put this in the parking thing and it'll just let you out. I was like, did what? I was like, this is amazing. It happens. This sort of thing, we drop into this level of success and abundance and luxury. Like it happens fast. It gets to happen so fast. And there are times where I'm sitting in my car and I just believe that this is so true for me. I drop into flow state in this way. And I'm sure you all have experiences like this. I'm sure if you went into your experience, into your life so far, there have been experiences that have been unexplainable. You have kind of fluked it. It's never a fluke. It seems like, whoa, that was a coincidence. Never a coincidence. You have created a match for that in your reality. Just as easy as it is to create a match for that with not so great things because we are powerful magnetic beings. So be very, very conscious and aware of what your radio station is saying, what Success FM is saying. And if you feel for a second that it drops, and I'm, I'm not saying like you can't be human, but you can quickly, if it starts to turn crackly and into the static, what do you do? You just like change it by like a tiny little bit, like, or you just press the button and it's like, okay, cool. Let's find a clearer reception point. A clearer reception point is what we're looking for here. And a clearer reception point is often the vibrational energy that is around us. This is why it's so important to surround yourself with things that represent your energetic values to you. If you are looking around your house, your room right now, and you're thinking there is actually nothing that fully represents the ideal that I have of what it is to be successful, then it's time to start picking up tokens like tokens that represent something, like whether it be a beautiful crystal or some gorgeous sage or, you know, just like a beautiful oat milk latte for me, like whatever it is, a, a gorgeous diptyque candle. I have just pulled plants that's over there, a beautiful like terrazzo lamp that I have. I'm surrounded by beautiful artwork, which means something to me. I have a selenite lamp on over there. I have a beautiful golden elephant. That's Michael's, but I do claim it as mine. I swear it's like so beautiful. But just whatever it is, like I'm surrounded by stunning things. I look out to my garden and I've got all these beautiful flowers that I've just potted and a nicely mowed lawn, like all of that. It all contributes. Isn't it so nice when, you know, the people you love the most in your life, they just get on board with it. Like they just, they're so there with you. They're so, because the frequency is felt wherever you go. I actually had this visual visualization meditation that I did the other day. And I saw kind of this, like, how do I describe it? It's like everywhere I walked, there was this radius around me and the radius was just liquid gold. And the more I was in, the more I dropped in, the more connected I was to who I am, my desires. I could see this liquid gold just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then people would come into my like radius and then they would feel the liquid gold. And then once they left the radius, they took the liquid gold with them. And then it kind of zoomed out to the whole world, like all these amazing women that I get to coach, all of you that we get to spend time with. And I could just see liquid gold all around the world. It was the most magnificent visualization. Like it was, try it, try it. Like when next time you're in meditation, imagine whether it's gold or a certain light and aura that's surrounding you, 
because this then takes you to a bigger place outside of self and realizing what you're doing, like your work for the world and the light that it creates in this world as well. It's absolutely stunning. Thank you.